Before I begin my remarks, I did want you to make note of this brand new theater we are sitting in. If you've noticed, we have new seats, new carpet, new paint. I think the colors blend very well, so it's very exciting for us to be here. Very exciting time for Gallaudet. Let me begin by saying welcome. Welcome, everyone. Welcome to the start of a new year at Gallaudet. I hope you enjoyed the slideshow. Those pairs of photos that appeared, they appeared in our recently published annual report. Yes, the photos were very fun to watch, but they also have served a serious purpose. The photos celebrate our past and our present. The photos make us think about our future. And why is that? Because comparing our past with our present makes us dream of our future. Our past remains with us today. Our traditions remain with us today. And our future is also with us today. Today, I'll start by sharing some other information from the annual report. And I'll use the goals of the Gallaudet Strategic Plan, the GSP, as a framework for my presentation. For goal A, our annual report tells us that the total for our enrollment for undergraduate, graduate, and English Language Institute students was slightly up in the fall as compared to last year. Enrollment at the Clare Center was up significantly. But yet so much work remains for all of us on this issue of enrollment. We must ensure that Gallaudet is top of the mind for potential students. And we must ensure that Gallaudet is also top of the mind for enrolled students. So that way they will return year after year until they graduate. Now for goal B, our annual report tells us that the graduation rate for undergraduate students was up significantly this year as compared to last year, but down slightly for graduate students. However, both percentages exceeded targeted numbers that were established by the U.S. Department of Education. Later in my address today, I'll talk about the other GSP goals. Just two weeks ago, Vicki and I, and also many of you, attended a wonderful campus event. That event celebrated the life and legacy of Dr. Martin Luther King, Jr. That event was the inspiration for my words today. Now, I'm sure you can make the connection between Martin Luther King and that event and the title of my address today, A Dream for Gallaudet. Dr. King compares our present with our dreams of the future. An entering student leaves one world and at graduation enters a far different world. 
Fortunately, a liberal arts education is the heart of preparation for a changing future. Fortunately, moving into the future is based on a deep emotional tradition here at Gallaudet. And fortunately, our university is alive with the ability to adapt to prepare students for that new world. Liberal arts provides all of that and more. It promotes analytical and critical thinking. It engenders a lifelong love of learning. And it provides preparation for the ever-changing jobs of tomorrow. And so today, we take our inspiration from Reverend Martin Luther King, Jr. He passionately questioned our nation. Just last October, his memorial opened at the National Mall. His monument is beautiful, dramatic, and spiritual. We all take inspiration from his granite sculpture. We all take inspiration from his eloquent speeches. And most of all, we take inspiration from his dreams. We all know that Dr. King had a dream on what do we build our dreams? What is our foundation? What words would we carve in granite? Yeah. Knowledge is our foundation. Community is our foundation. And communication is our foundation. Let us cherish our knowledge. We fulfill the dream of a university education for people who are deaf and hard of hearing. We fulfill the dream of educating the country about the capabilities of people who are deaf or hard of hearing. And we fulfill the dream of educating the world about the capabilities of people who are deaf and hard of hearing. Let us cherish that we are a community. No university in the world has a community like ours. No place in the world has a community like ours. And no people in the world have a community like ours. Let us cherish our communication. Our bilingual communication fosters sharing of diversity of opinions and ideas. Our bilingual communication fosters engaging in the dynamic exchange of ideas. Our bilingual communication fosters summarizing our dreams for the future. I love this new logo. It symbolizes so much about Gallaudet. So many different people came together to create it. We came together and we made it happen. We attended to others' opinions. We took them to heart with respect. Over 2,000 opinions were expressed in the process. We can soar together into the future with a logo representative of the university. 
In particular, I thank students. Because of them, we didn't just settle for one of the earlier designs. Many thought that this logo change should be postponed or perhaps take several years to occur. But instead, the change was swift and empowering. Instead, the change occurred from the inside under our control. And instead, the logo process was an open and inspiring process. The University Council was pivotal in the review process of the new logo. Let me cite another example of change. Consider the many construction improvements on campus. In prior years, we learned of improvements through limited announcements or when we saw the improvements actually happening. But it was recently announced at the University Council that we would establish a new process. We will now solicit input from all segments of the campus before the projects are selected. This is one of many ways we better manage our resources, all part of goal C of the GSP. Also, in process is the development of a 10-year master plan for the university. What a dramatic responsibility as we envision, dream, of the transformation of this university in the coming decade or two. We have a momentum on our side. These changes reflect our goals for openness and inclusiveness that are all part of our dream for the university. Well, how can we ensure our success? How can we use this great foundation to soar? And how can we ensure our students will succeed? For guidance, let's look to Dr. Martin Luther King. Intelligence plus character. Let me repeat his words. Intelligence plus character. What a fabulous definition of liberal arts. So how will we use our strengths in liberal arts? How will we meet goal D of the GSP on academic programs? Well, let me return to a theme that I raised in the fall. Let me share some ongoing developments and the incredible potential of the pre-programs. They were first announced in the opening address last fall since that time, an academic team is meeting on a weekly basis to make these ideas become reality. Two of the programs are actually under active development, and two are being researched. We will return to those programs today because I believe so strongly in their potential to transform. They are part of our dream for the university. Each builds on our existing strengths and on areas where we want to become even stronger. Of course, people who are deaf or hard of hearing are currently succeeding in these important areas, but their numbers are small. There is so much work to be done in these fields. 
there is so much untapped potential. And there is so much we can contribute to the opportunities of young future students. Let me briefly review the service that we can provide because of each new major. The passage of the ADA brought forward the issue of rights for all. Lawyers are needed to advance this work. Lawyers are needed to promote equal access. And lawyers are needed to advocate for all of us. But beyond those specialized needs, our society needs lawyers in all fields. They help to ensure that we live in a society that is fair to all. Let's make this new program a part of our dream. For too long, people who are deaf or hard of hearing have been underserved in healthcare. And for too long, they have been unable to find healthcare workers with whom they can comfortably communicate. And for too long, the door to this incredibly rewarding healthcare professional fields has been shut to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. But there is change coming. Gallaudet has been working as a partner with three other institutions on a national health care task force. We anxiously look forward to the final report of this group, which will be available to us at the end of March. Our thanks to all who have represented Gallaudet so very well on this 18-month task. We will make the offering of more healthcare careers a part of our dream. Business entrepreneurship has become a national need. And people who are deaf or hard of hearing often talk about starting a new business, but it's happened only in limited numbers. We want to encourage those dreams by preparing students to enter graduate business programs. The knowledge provided by those programs matches the foundation of today's economy. Let us encourage and grow the entrepreneurial spirit and the abilities of our students. Let us encourage them to establish and run the businesses of tomorrow. We dream of establishing a pre-architectural program. We want to prepare students to enter a Masters of Architectural program it's possible to enter many of these programs, no matter what area of undergraduate study. But our dream is to provide a liberal arts baccalaureate program designed to help students enter and graduate from a master's of architectural programs. We can uniquely prepare these students. And how is that? We have groundbreaking knowledge knowledge of deaf space. And that knowledge connects to universal design. For what we implement in our community benefits all populations. Our new living and learning residential hall exemplifies what we can offer our students. Those who want to prepare as architectural as a career. So why do we dream so strongly and toil so hard to have these pre-programs set up? Because we believe in these liberal arts programs. 
They will create an environment that encourages all potential students to dream without limits. They will improve in students' confidence and abilities for graduate work. They will prepare our students for passionate careers rather than just jobs. And they will benefit all Gallaudet students for we will strengthen so many of our current offerings to support these new offerings. In addition to these new academic programs, we will continue with the pride we feel in other undergraduate and graduate programs. We will continue to emphasize our other strong baccalaureate programs. And we will continue to counsel undergraduate students about their work options based on their majors. And we will continue to emphasize that those programs provide entryways to our existing strong graduate programs. We will continue to build our research capabilities, which is goal E of the GSP. Our annual report indicates that the dollar amount of grants received just this last year was the highest of any of the most recent 10 years. In addition, the dollar amount of proposals has grown significantly we will continue the expansion of our research activity so that we can meet the dream of becoming the epicenter of our research areas. To fulfill our dream, every one of us must contribute. I include students, faculty, and staff, and I also include our Board of Trustees and our Board of Associates. The success of one is the success of all. Reverend King reminds us that no work is insignificant. Succeeding individually we redefine for each other what is possible. Let us use Gallaudet to pursue our shared dreams for our future. By reaching for our dreams, we are serving others. Let's take a moment to cherish the amazing work of our graduates. Almost 70% of our graduates are in service careers. What a very proud record. Of course, we will end today by repeating the most famous quote of Dr. King. Throughout this speech, I have mentioned time and time again his words. They have been a unifying element of the speech. The words of Dr. King continue to impact us so strongly today. His words closely parallel our lives and our issues. His words excite us to consider our future. And his words encourage us to dream of that future. Thank you, Dr. Martin Luther King Jr for your inspiration today. And thank you 
Gallaudet. This has been a production of Gallaudet University.